use these books and I'd be ready. I have diary with the kids, what the fuck? I wanna know is what the fuck happened to my stand. Alright, that should be decent enough. I believe. Alright, Benny time or what? So my fucking hair can't, won't keep getting in my face. Alright, so when your hair gets to a certain point, you really can't do anything about it except wear a beanie all the time. And that's that's basically what I'm doing. So welcome to another day of quarantine with Johan. <laughs> because of this whole coronavirus bullshit that we're dealing with right now, basically I'm kind of stuck in my house. I could go out whenever I want to, but you know, no one's really going out because everyone's stuck at home. Some parents are self quarantining their kids. Some kids are my homies. So I'm basically stuck watching Naruto all fucking day and you know, just because of this quarantine bullshit, I can't be writing BMX and I can't be vlogging as much as I used to. So I decided, why not film a QA? and a I know last time I said I was gonna give you guys more of a heads up and actually tell you guys a video beforehand so you guys could ask questions, but I slipped up again. And so now we're here. I bet no one's gonna comment, but if you guys have any questions, leave them down below and I'll answer them in the next Q&A, which will be, I don't know, next week when i get bored and run out of ideas we're gonna start this q a but before we do i just want to tell you guys that if you don't follow me on instagram follow me already it'll be down here or somewhere right fucking i don't know how this works it's like mirrored but it'll be somewhere down here follow me on instagram follow it i post some clips i post some funny shit that happens in my life a lot of updates and stuff like that so if you don't follow it and you know like my shit but besides that i also started a tiktok i regret it but it's more or less for bmx clips and doing little edits here and there so follow that as well everything will be linked below and yeah, let's get to the video. So yeah, so I told you guys to leave any questions and all that stuff on my story. I posted this 15 hours ago. So I gave you guys 15 hours to ask me any questions that you want. The first question that I got, it comes from, I don't know how the hell to say this. So he, homie asked, would you do more bike spray paint videos in the future? So the thing about the spray paint videos, I love doing them and I know you guys will love watching them, but I was starting to feel like I was getting to the point where it was too repetitive. And yeah, it's, it does good and I get a lot of views on them, but I don't really want to be known for being a spray painting channel. My channel is mostly about vlogging and doing stupid shit, game of bikes, all that stuff. It's more or less just a vlogging channel than it is an actual spray painting channel. I'm probably not going to be doing none anytime soon, maybe in the far future, but anytime soon, I'm probably not going to. Most of the reason is because I'm building a new bike, which I don't think I've told you guys, probably have, but I'm building a new bike, which I'll get more into detail in the future. But I'm building a new bike completely brand new and so there's not going to be really any chance to spray paint anything. Next question comes from my baby girl. She says, how is it having such a supportive girlfriend? All right, we're being conceited now. Having someone that can support you to the point where she does, like I've, I lag on her a lot and at times I, you know, don't even respond to her messages because I'm out writing and I'm out filming. Like right now, me filming this, I filmed this for like an hour. So I don't text her for like an hour or so. It's really important to me and having supportive friends as well. Like I'm, I could be a bitch sometimes and I could be really stressful when I'm filming or when I'm recording something. So having supportive friends and you know, my girl overall, it's just really important. So if you're doing anything that, you know, you know, you need support to do, then just make sure you surround yourself around important people. What's your favorite type of water coming for Fanito YB? My favorite type of water, honestly, swear to God, is the $1 water. The one that you could get at the 99, it's like 99 cents. I forgot what it's called. It's just literally, it's a bottle and it has like a blue and white. I don't know, that's literally the best water to me. To me, water tastes the fucking same. If you say that it doesn't or the certain type is better, it's just fucking water. The next question coming from the same guy, he says, does all water taste the same? To me, all water tastes the same. There's different like textures to it. Some water, some water bottles are more smooth than others, if that makes any sense. But I think it's more or less just your mentality making you think that because it costs more. So like if you were to buy a $5 water, it would taste better than a $1 water just because of the price. But because you know it's more expensive, but it's not actually better. You know, I don't know if that made any sense, but all water tastes the same. When are you going to hop back on? I haven't played my PS4 in months. I use it for pure Netflix, Hulu, and fucking Disney+. Plus. When will you ride me? All right. <laughs> Whenever you come through. If you guys don't know who this is, Finito YB, this is the curly haired guy that comes out in a lot of my old videos and he hasn't been riding at all. So he needs to come through to the Long Beach and bring his bike. Next question comes from underscore Flores Angel underscore. Worst fall on BMX. The worst fall to date on BMX. I've never really had a bad falls, more or less because I'm such a pussy. But the worst fall I've had so far actually happened recently that I could remember. It's the Paramount Madness series. 
in the first video right before i started filming that you know the ledge where you had to hop up it's in the game of bike as well i said it and Osprey couldn't do it basically that ledge when i was first going for it i was going for a feeble but i was too far away from the ledge and so I, when i went for it i was basically going to put my tire on top of the ledge and i missed it completely i missed the ledge completely so i fell forward and i went flying over my bars and i was like this close to hitting my head on the ledge and then my bike almost fell on top of me but i kicked it out the way but that's i think like i don't know i guess that's the worst fall i've had i never I've, i haven't really fallen like that on my bike i've fallen like off of little things but not really anything like serious like that thankfully next question comes from caleb caleb la Boacan. i really hope i said that right fave bmxer my favorite bmx off the top of my head is probably felix prangberg felix i hope that's how you say his name felix he's such god dude like i look up to him and riding so much like his style and the way he rides is something that i want to achieve i don't necessarily want to have his style i want to have my own but like the way he rides and how he makes shit look for the camera like it just looks so sick and it all just goes together next question comes from unicorn can you throw it back no all right next question comes from max bmx 42212 god damn bro you need to show your name When's that wall ride down the four stair coming? It's coming soon. You guys don't know what he's talking about, but it's coming very soon. First, I want to ride, I want to wall ride up, and then I have to learn wall rides off both sides. So it's coming soon. I don't know when because of this whole coronavirus bush, and I really don't want to step foot in Cal State, but soon. Next one comes from Lalo Danks. Smoke the words of Jesus with me on graduation for the one time. Maybe. Next comes from Ricardo Ruiz. How much for an hour? Next from next comes from my baby girl as well. She asked a few questions actually. Um, she says, "How's quarantine without me?" It's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just, it's pretty. It's pretty whack. I'm pretty bored. Motivations. Ooh, that's a good one. Mostly my motivations come from just wanting to make sure that in my life, like I just want to make sure that my life is set. Like in the future, I want to make sure that I have my house, that I own my business, that I just make shit happen. I do want to grow up and like become professional BMXer because that is something I want to do. But I'm, I'm barely beginning and it's kind of far-fetched, but it is something I want to achieve. And I'm not really looking to get sponsored. I just want to leave my mark on the industry because this industry I think is really beautiful. Like I've never been in an area of sports and all that stuff where everyone is so kind. Not everyone, but most of the people you meet in BMX will be so kind to you. I'm going off on something completely different. But my motivation is just making sure that my future is set and making sure that if I am to have a family, that they're going to be set as well. Favorite YouTuber at the moment? My favorite YouTuber, honest to God, is probably, I mean, I guess Anthony Panza. Um, but at the same time, if I'm to be honest, I don't really have a favorite YouTuber. Like, I, if, I, if you were to ask me this a few months ago, I would say Anthony Panza without a doubt. But at this point, I more or less just watch, like, I watch a lot of shit. Like, I watch car videos, I watch BMX videos, I watch random shit that pops up in my recommended, like, but if I were to choose one, I guess it'll be Anthony Panza. Next one comes from underscore Apadia 14 underscore. Do you have any good motivation tips for BMX? Whenever you're feeling down and you feel like you can't do certain things, just know you can do anything you set your mind to. With that being said, like if you're being really negative about it and you keep telling yourself, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it, you're not gonna be able to do it. You have to go outside, plan your day, plan what you're gonna learn and do it. Me, when I first learned wall rides, I told my brother right before I left, I told him, I was like, hey bro, when I come back, I'm gonna have wall rides down or I'm gonna learn how to wall ride. Yes, it was slanted, but it's still something that I was hyped on. And I told him that morning that I was gonna learn them and I went out and I learned them. Have that mindset that you're gonna get shit done and know exactly where you're gonna get done. Like, I'm not saying all the time, like sometimes just go out and ride. But if you wanna learn something, just have that mindset and focus on it. Don't let anything distract you from it. Other than that, if you don't have anyone to ride with, I say just pop in some earphones, get some earphones, buy some, pop them in, put some nice music on, just chill on your own, session on your own. It's not that bad. It gets boring sometimes, but maybe try to make shit like challenging for you, try to do five smiths or five feebles in a row and then go on to add to it so like five smiths or five feebles and then five feebles hop off and then a 180 or you know just try to make shit interesting for yourself learning new tricks is probably the best thing you could do if you're riding by yourself and it will really motivate you so just you know just have a good mindset when you're going into it motivate yourself watch some bmx edits bmx edits motivate me a lot and listen to some good tunes and yeah you should be good other than that it's basically all on you Next one comes from my baby girl. My baby, my baby girl asked a lot of questions. What advice would you give someone who is too scared to try a new trick? I would say that if you're in, if you're into BMX, I should say this to myself honestly. 
if you're into BMX and you're in this, I guess, world of BMX, you're gonna get hurt regardless. Like you're not gonna escape it. No matter what you're doing, you're gonna get to a certain point where you're trying new shit where you're just gonna get hurt. Like there's no, there's no way to avoid it. There's no way to, to think you're never gonna get hurt. That's not gonna happen. So with that being said, when you're going into learning a new trick and you're scared to do it, just try it. Just basically what I do whenever I'm going for a new trick, just kind of tip your toes in the water. Like just try it a little bit. Don't fully send it depending what it is because if it's something fucking big where you're jumping off of something you have to send it full try because if you don't send it full try you're gonna get hurt 10 times worse if you don't send it and you basically try to bail and you just land wrong or something but let's say you're going for like your first people just try to like test that out a bit maybe just hop onto the ledge and just stall it you know don't really try to go for the grind go slow you know take your time just try to you know or just hop onto something that's really low like just try to get it down you know first like just test the waters you don't have to fully send it on something, so just test the waters and then you're gonna see that it's pretty easy. Sometimes when I'm feeling ballsy, I just fucking send it and it works out. You just gotta really commit to it, know what you're doing and just be in control. That's basically it. You're never gonna get really, really hurt unless you land horrible. But if you land horrible, you probably shouldn't have been trying the trick in the first place. You gotta know your level and you gotta know where you're at when it comes to your skill. And if you're not there, then you're not there and you can't rush it. You have to keep, you know, it's not something where you're just gonna be down here and go all the way up here. You have to, you know, there's steps to things. Advice on someone your age or younger hesitating to start YouTube. Dude, start it. <laughs> Just start it, honestly. The longer you wait to start, the longer it's gonna take you to get somewhere. If you were to start yesterday, you already be a day ahead of you getting progress. If I was to start three years ago, four years ago, if I was to start YouTube four years ago, I would be way more ahead than I am now. But I started barely a year ago or two. So you just have to start, you know, just you don't need anything fancy. Your phone phones are getting really, 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 really good. You just need your phone, you know, just be entertaining. Sometimes entertainment is more is more valued than quality. To me, I feel I would much rather prefer to see an entertaining video that has low quality than a really boring video that has high quality 4K Ultra HD, all that bullshit. So just start, man. Send that shit. Next one comes from Playboy underscore Jergen. You're cute as fuck, dog. No homo. You're gay. <laughs> but the last question comes from Elegant underscore Zarate underscore 562. What got you into BMX? I made a video about this, which I'll put a card up here so you can go watch that to the person that asked this or for anyone interested. Um, what got me into BMX was basically just, it was more or less just me riding with my friends, literally cruising and seeing people do these crazy tricks where I was like, what the hell are you doing that? It more or less just grew onto me. It wasn't more or less me like, oh, BMX is cool, I'ma try it. It was just me riding with my friends, cruising and stuff with my cousins. And then I just started seeing tricks and seeing them do tricks and other people do tricks. And that's when I got introduced to professionals, people like Anthony Panza. Literally the moment on some non, like, like no riding his dick or anything, but the moment I started watching Anthony Panza was the moment that I started taking BMX series. Like literally I started watching him when he built his new two short frame, the Yankees one, the one of this year. That was the first video that I watched from him was him building that bike. And so watching that video was so entertaining that I went to go watch all of his old videos. I binge watched all of his fucking videos. Like from the moment he started YouTube till now, I've watched them all. And I kind of grew this like passion for BMX off of watching him and his friends and Rusty and Jakester Boy and Billy and watching all of them like, you know, it was just really cool. Like, although they were way ahead of me, seeing like the vibes that they would get and how chill they all were and how much fun they all had, like it just it's just a passion that grew to me. And then I sent it and bought myself an expensive bike and now we're here. So it's more or less just something that grew on me. Um, and yeah, and I love it like so much. Like BMX has changed my life significantly but like i said if you want me to go more in depth watch the other video i go really in depth right there i think it's like 15 minutes long probably longer where i just tell you guys my origins how i started and to where i am right now but that's basically it i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope i made it entertaining for you guys if you guys did like always make sure you leave a like on this video subscribe if you haven't comment down any questions that you guys have for me for the second part comment down any questions any suggestions any video ideas you guys may have like I said, I'm in quarantine right now, so anything will help me out and you know, it'll allow me to make more videos for you guys. I hope you guys are staying safe. Wash your hands, please. Stay in your house. Try your best not to go out. I know it sucks, 
or if you do go out just try your best not to be around anyone if you're practicing bmx just make sure you're pretty far from people or you're in a, like a parking lot where you're far away you know just try to keep your distance the sooner we listen and we actually stay home the sooner we can get shit done i know i'm a hypocrite for this because i'd be going out still and i'd be riding my bike and all that but try not to follow me try to be your own person and try to Stay home, stay clean, stay safe, and watch my videos. Binge watch them. You know, link in the bio. Thank you guys. Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Peace. That's no sleep. Stay strong as both feet. Ten toes down, no half step to we filthy rich. I can't rest on east side of them train tracks. I don't call the racks. I stay fast. More than half these rappers can't relate to that. With that said, please stay back. Don't fake the funk. I aim a bus at anybody trying to hate on us. Let's sneak this, but I can't trick. They'll get smoked like Andrew does.